Jeff, looks like class is in session, huh? We got another window install lesson. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pitch in this windowsill so that water will roll out. So we're gonna use a clapboard. So the clapboard's a little thicker on the back and a little thinner on the front. So we're gonna put it in so that it's flush to the front. And again, the high side is on the inboard side, that way we're pitched out. All right, so we're just using regular roofing nails to fasten this clapboard to the sill. Okay, so now we have our pitch. So we want to waterproof this system so that the water that comes in will work its way out. So we have a flashing tape here that we're going to put in and this is self-adhered so we're going to remove half the paper on one side. And you don't want it to stick to itself. Okay, so we're going to go about halfway in. We'll start it in the middle and work our way right to the outside and then run it up the sides. So now we're going to peel off this side. Go ahead, Ryan. Yep, with your hand. Yep, keep going. All the way into the corner. Try to get a nice tight seal into that corner. Okay, so a critical step here in the corner, we're just gonna make a little slice in that corner and lap that over. That's why we put that first little piece in there. Check this out, Captain, ready? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna soft flash all the way around the opening. So we'll pre-cut those pieces. Two. You don't want to take all the release paper off at the same time because it, once it sticks to itself. So we're going to go about two inches to the outboard side and the rest will be to the inboard side. Go ahead now, finish that, try to keep it even all the way down. Okay. There you go, just right nice up. and smooth while he guides it down. Just stay a little ahead of him. There you go, get it all down, push tight. Can't yep. overdo it. All right, now the last piece across the top. Now this one we're going to stick to the top first. We've got to make two little slices here, then we'll fold it under. Okay, Sean will take a couple cuts right in the corner there. Corner, corner. Okay, so fold that under nice and tight. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a bead of caulk around three sides of the window. Okay, so we're not going to caulk the bottom because again, back to that water migration, we want to give a gap for that water to get out from underneath. So before we put the window in, we're going to put in a composite shim. That's going to lift our window up off this sill about a quarter of an inch. So that way, again, if any water gets into this system, it comes down and it's got a path to escape. That's the reason why we didn't caulk that bottom flange, because we don't want to trap water in, we want to give it a path to escape. Okay, so the next thing we're ready for a window. We're going to put the bottom in first. Okay, good. Now, make sure that flange gets up into the caulking. A bit. There you go. Okay. All right, now Ryan. I want you to use your fingertips to put inside the, between the window and the rough opening so that you roughly get it in the center. Okay, so you feel the reveal? Is that about even? Just about, yeah. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is level the sill and I'm gonna do that from the inside. So I'm gonna switch places with Ryan. Ryan, you come out and help Deshaun with the window. Okay, Catherine, we've got it centered in the opening, so the first thing we're going to start with is leveling the sill. Okay. And that looks like it is right on. Ryan, I want you to put a roofing nail in the bottom corner of each side. Okay, good. Now the other one.
Okay, so now the next step is critical. We want to make sure that the window is square. So you can see right now that this window is three pieces, so it can rack from side to side. So the way we're going to measure for square is you're going to hook your tape on the corner of the outside of the window and measure to the opposite corner, and then we're going to compare it to the other side. Okay, so I want an exact measurement. 69 and a half. So let's hook here. See, we're hooking right on the bottom, outside corner. What do you got for a measurement? 69 and a half. Okay, so the window is square. All right, so I want to see you put a nail in each side of the top, in that top hole. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure our reveal is correct up the sides. Okay, so you see that the double hung rides along this rail, yeah. all right, and this reveal is a little open in the middle, and then this side looks pretty good. So we want to shim this closed a little bit before we nail off that flange. Okay, okay so we're just going to wedge a shim in between there and close up that gap. Okay, you guys, in the center of this window, I want you to put a nail in each hole on each side. Okay, so now you guys can finish off nailing that window. And then slide it over. Pretty good, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.